Hi guys, Dave with Air School here and today we're going to talk about our continuation of our quest for the future of air conditioning which we feel is going to be solar hybrid. And why is that? Well, when is it hottest out? During the day. When is it sunniest out? During the day. So it makes perfect sense to be able to plug solar panels directly into your unit and run it off of solar during the day. At nighttime, of course, there's no sun. That's why we believe in hybrid. These units, all of our units have inverter compressors, so in, inverter compressors and brushless DC fans, so they're very efficient even at nighttime. So some of you maybe own or at least have seen videos on our solar hybrid mini splits. We're going to talk about this window unit today, the W12. It's the first window unit in the United States that's solar hybrid and ducted units here for commercial use. For any special, special uses you have get in touch with us for ducted units. Also be working on rooftop units, all that's to come. Okay, but today for this window unit, this is only an air conditioner. It's probably gonna end up being about half the price, not priced out yet, but it's gonna be about half the price of uh, the mini split, so that's good news. And, and um, yeah, the, the, the disadvantage, it looks like a normal ghetto, what you grew up with window unit, has these accordion fans. So it's not like the end, the one that looks like the N or the U or whatever. That may be coming, but this is where we're at right now. Looks old, but all the technology in here is very much cutting edge. The electronics, the inverter compressor, and the brushless DC fans, okay? So uh, right now, this is 12,000 BTU, so same size as our mini split. It's the coil temperature of the air coming out is 37, 38 degrees, pretty chilly. And it's, it also still has our app, the Air School app. So, and the, the wonderful thing about this app is you can monitor how much of your power comes from photovoltaic PV or solar and how much comes from AC or grid power. So right now, all the power is coming at 449 watts to run this off of solar. And it's five o'clock uh, early April here. And so that's great. It's probably, I think sundown's like seven o'clock or something. So right now, all day long, we can run for free. In the summer, this is not gonna be 449. It's gonna be 1,000, 1,100 watts, 1,200 watts, maybe 1,300 watts. We don't know for this yet. The efficiency of this is less than the mini split. The mini split efficiencies, hybrid inverter like ours, 20, ours 22 seer. This has something called the CER, which is continual energy efficiency ratio versus SER, which is seasonal energy efficiency ratio. And so it's a little bit different metric, but uh, 15 uh, as a CER is pretty much equivalent to like 17 for an SER. So it's a little bit lower in efficiency than the mini split, why? Well, the main thing is the coil inside of here for both the evaporative, evaporator and condenser coils are smaller. So that affects efficiency a little bit. And, but it still does have the inverter compressor so that helps, helps to get it from to the 15 CER. Your older window units probably have a CER of eight, something like that. So it's pretty much twice as efficient as like a 10 or 15 year old window unit. And, and the fact that you can run it for free during the day, I mean, that really, that's infinite efficiency, right? But um, in terms of the, in terms of some of the bells and whistles, there's this, I don't know, I don't know that much about window units, frankly, because we haven't had them since I was a kid, but th you can pull this out to have outside air intake. So that's kind of a nicety. And then you can do the biggest thing, I think, if you are an off-gridder and at nighttime you don't want to run this compressor at full speed, you can see that, let's, uh, we will, I'm gonna, so by the way, when you order, you're gonna get one of these isolators, same way you get with our mini split. The, you're gonna get solar whips, which are shorter than we have the hook up here. And you're gonna get uh, 30, uh, 30 feet of, um, or 10 meters of solar wire going out to your, solar panels, but I'm going to turn this, turn this off, this, the solar off right now, so the PV is going to go 
down here and then I'll demonstrate that energy saving mode. Thinking, thinking. So eventually the, the photovoltaic goes to zero and then this eventually the AC will match what the PV was. And so it's a little tricky today because you see it's currently 62 degrees in here and we have it set at 61. That's the coldest setting. So it's pretty, pretty icy in here already because um, it's still springtime here. But theoretically, the compre this compressor, if it were running at 1,000 watts or something, you can push this button here. down to 25 and this theoretically should maybe be lower than lower than there's a certain speed at which the compressor needs enough power to be able to run so maybe that's 300 watt look well, it's going down a little bit but if it's if this thing in the summer is running at a thousand or 1200 watts and you're running off grid or you just want to save power if you're in your bedroom and you don't want this to be on as high Plus, you want to save some power at nighttime. Put it, use this um, AC mode here in terms of the speed. Now you see it's, the compressor is still going, 195 degrees. We took this. Eventually, if we take this, so now it shows the air coming out here is 46, 47. So the the, the disadvantage, of course, is the air is going to be a little bit warmer than it would be if you were running the thing full bore. The advantage is if you're off-gridder and you're trying to retain your batteries, you don't want to upgrade your batteries or your inverter or your, um, or your MPPT. This is a good, uh, good unit for you because you just plug the panels in directly during the daytime and then it takes very little battery power at nighttime. Um, so yeah, and that can be that can be done either here or on the remote. So there are three ways to change the settings on here. Actually, on the face, on the on the, and this you can do from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. And then on on the remote, and the remote to change the uh, power amount, you just change the you hit this SE button, and you hit this button, and if Todd can get in here close, you can see that it goes. 25, 50, 75, 100. And so, yeah, that's kind of a neat feature. And kind of in summary, I think this is a normal window unit that's souped up. It, it can run for free during the daytime. The advantages of a window unit, if you're a renter, put this in your window. You don't need to worry about drilling holes through your wall like you would with a mini split. That's one of the a lot of the friction of, of the mini split comes with the line set, right? And that's something we solved with the quick and easy mini split that we do. But here, there is no line set. Just throw it in the throw it in the window, and it and it's good to go. So that's that's a pretty big advantage, and that's portable. I mean, our our quick and easy you can actually disconnect too. But without having to deal with any copper line set, this is super portable. Um, it. The main disadvantage, again, it only does air conditioning. Uh, a lot of people don't like the looks of a window unit or potentially the security, depending on where you live. Somebody pushing in the window, that, that's a potential thing in some areas. Um, and the, the main thing, too, is, that, yeah, this only air conditioning, but the cost, we haven't, don't have it priced out yet, should be about half the price of our mini split we're hoping it'll come in somewhere around there if you have an interest in this just email dave at airspool.com a-i-r-s-p-o-o-l.com with the title window of your email that's all you have to do and you'll get on the list for when we do formally have these in which will be in the next month or something and if you got anything from this potentially give it a thumbs up potentially subscribe we talk about air conditioning we talk about solar we talk about solar air conditioning. Thanks for your time.